Hi, today we're going to make frozen chicken tenderloins, some medium pasta shells, and some marinara sauce with some garlic, and old Big Blue, our elite pressure cooker. One of my friends named Deborah recently got one of these elites, and she asked me to do a couple more pressure cooker videos, which I'd like to do, but you know how busy I am. But I love the pressure cooker. Watch how easy this is going to be. We're going to open the lid. We're going to put our frozen chicken, boneless chicken tenderloins in there. Here, frozen, see? Frozen. I only have six in there because that's all I want right now. Open a box of shells. Any kind you've got, anything handy. Put them in. So far that's easy. Open a jar if you're capable. Sometimes I'm not. <laughs> put that in. Put that in. I'm gonna put about a half a jar of water in there. Get all goodness from around the edges. Half a jar. Shake it up. Shake it up. Put it in around. You want your pasta just about almost covered. Because that's gonna boil up pretty good in there. Oh, don't forget this. If you like garlic, let me chop that up a little bit. Garlic all chopped up. Love it. Love that perfume. Give it a little stir. Just to get the noodles a little bit wet. Oh, this is gonna be good. You know it's gonna be good. Chicken. Pasta. Should I put a little more water in there? Nah, not too much. Let's go a little bit. Another quarter of a jar. I don't want to overdo it, you know. But we want some steam. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that's about three quarters of a jar then of water. Okay? Then we're going to see how it comes out anyway. If we did too much or too little. I think it's going to be good. Okay. Frozen chicken. Get the lid. Where's the lid? Here's the lid. Put the lid on. Lock it. Put this in pressure mode, which my indicator wore off. See that? But I know that's pressure and that's pressure release. And sometimes we have a problem with this ceiling once it reaches up to pressure. If I have that problem, I'll show you. I wiggle it and I hold it down until it seals. All right, I don't know if you can see this with the light, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to press meat and chicken. It automatically goes to 12, but we only need seven or eight minutes. So I'm going to go up past the limit and come back around. I'm going to go past it. I don't know if you can see. Oh, seven minutes. Look at that. And then, see seven? Can you see it? Yeah. And then this is going to jingle around until it heats up to, to pressure and then start counting down. Now, if your pressure cooker doesn't have these presettings, just select high for seven minutes. Okay. I know the light's pretty bright on that. I'll be back if I have a problem with the pressure or when it starts building up. I'll show you. I'll show you this up here. It smells good already. Garlic and sauce and chicken and pasta. See, it's starting to sizzle. That's normal. Okay. Not ready yet. It's going to be hot up here, but it's not ready yet. I can tell. There you go. See? Alright, still sizzling. Still blinking down here. I'm smelling it though. See, after a few minutes, if that doesn't seal, like we have a problem with sometimes, push it down till it stops. It'll stop when it gets enough pressure in there. And then that blinker will turn to a P for pressure. Not yet. Hang on. We'll get it. See, the Cuisinart is not like this. The Cuisinart just seals right up. 
But I like this Elite because it's big. 10 quarts. So you get it. They gotta fix that flaw. Almost. Don't burn yourself when you're doing that though. Still not in pressure though. It's getting real quiet. Come on. There, see the P? See the P? Now, we still got a little hiss up here. That's okay. On top. Hear it? All right. So you just gotta play with that valve a little bit. And then it'll stay in P mode, and it'll start counting down. I know you probably can't see that with all these lights. Let me see, does that help? Does that help? P7. It's going to start counting down in seven minutes. Then we're going to release the pressure. It really smells good. All right, I hope that little tip helps. And, and even through the process, this might go back and start jingling around a little more, more and go back to P. I don't know. It just does that. Okay, we'll be back in seven minutes. All right, we're down to one. Can you see the one? Ah. Oh. BB, that means it's done. All right. Came out pretty good. That was a fast seven minutes. Now, we're going to release the pressure on top. Manually. I'm a little closer. I'm going to use this towel as not to splatter up my kitchen cabinets. Don't burn yourself. It's hot. Mmm, oh. that smells good. We'll be back in a minute when that pressure's out. And the pressure. Almost out. My dog's smelling it. Are you hungry, Roxy? You wanna eat this for breakfast? I do. Mmm. Oh, it's out. What do you think it's gonna look like? To get any pot holder for that? Yeah, better be safe. Open. Whoa, a little more in there. Whoa, what's going on? See? Gotta be careful. A little more shizzle. What's it gonna look like? Let's go up and look inside. Up and down. Mm. What's it gonna look like? How's it look? Mmm, where's my spoon? There's my spoon. Oh, look it. I think it's pretty perfect. So easy. Know what I'm gonna do? See, I could have filled this up with two pounds of pasta, probably. Here, let me get something. Let me get something to make it better. Hang on. While it's still hot, I'm gonna throw some cheese in there. <laughs> That's a good breakfast for me. It's 6 a.m., you know. I have weird hours. All right, put that lid on for probably a minute. Let the cheese melt. Okay, I can't wait no longer. It's been about a minute. Look at that delicious meal. See how easy that was? I just went and looked and see what I had around the house. I had some frozen chicken, box of pasta, jar of sauce, and some cheese. And don't forget the garlic. Now, get my fancy bowl. Give me some of this. Mm. Breakfast, lunch, or dinner, or supper, Sunday meal. On Saturday. <laughs> right, let's check it out. How did chicken come out? Look at that. See? Perfect. Think it tastes. Perfect. 
shells. Mm, it's just done to perfection, I'm telling you. Look at it. See that frozen chicken? Is that perfect or not? It certainly is. Try that, Deborah. Change it however you like. Mm. Try that, everybody. Because you're definitely going to love it. Your family will think you cooked all day. And it only took seven minutes. Or well, maybe ten altogether. <laughs> now I'm even though going to eat this for breakfast. Do you want one more, one more bite before I go? Hmm? I'll have it for you. Mm. Oh boy. Have some, Rox. You're fussy. I like it. Okay. Happy pressure cooking, everybody. I'll talk to you soon.